animators? Want to learn 2D rigging but can't afford 2 Boom Harmony or Adobe Animate? Well, I have just the app you're looking for. It's Toon Squid. The main selling point of this app is that it's like an iPad version of Adobe Animate, with its use of vector brushes, vector shapes, vector lines, symbol library, basic rigging through a transform hierarchy, motion tweening, keyframing capabilities, and easing presets. There are 12 easing presets. You can alter most of them to your liking. But the way this app is better than Adobe AMA is its user friendliness, hand drawn animation capabilities, and the obvious big feature, being able to comfortably take it with you anywhere. You can use Toon Squid for hand drawn animation, animatics, motion graphics, basic grid characters and objects, and probably so much more that I ain't even found out about yet. Wanna know what the most impressive thing about this app is? It was all created by one guy, Gwen Donyagard. So a round of applause to him. For all this, it costs just $10, which is half the price of the upcoming Procreate Dreams, and less than 20% of the price of Calipeg. If you have an iPad, an Apple Pencil, and have $10 to spend on an animation app, go buy ToonSquid. The $10 you pay will probably help advance ToonSquid even further in the future. It's probably the best animation app on iPad of all time, and probably will still be once Procreate Dreams comes out, but we'll see about that in November. Guys, I'd like to take a moment to test out the voiceover feature in LumaFusion and to thank Brad Colbo for introducing me to ToonSquid with his review. Go check his channel out if you haven't already. So when starting a project in ToonSquid, it gives you two options, traditional and keyframe. When you choose the traditional workflow, you can animate the old fashioned way by drawing each frame. When you create a drawing, it creates one frame and the timeline is zoomed in. This workflow is best for people who want to do classical animation. There are many features that make doing hand-drawn animation in ToonSquid a lot easier, such as Out of Pegs, also known as Shift and Trace, which allows you to alter your onion skins to make your animation more consistent. More than 40 brushes, each can be made into a vector brush. And temporary pivots so you can transform your drawing or a selection of it however you want. When you choose the keyframe workflow, the timeline is zoomed out 
and each drawing you make is shown for 5 seconds on the timeline. This workflow is best for people who want to animate rigged characters, shapes, and whatever else you only have to draw once. Here the animation work is done with the keyframes, and there are almost 20 things you can keyframe. Here's a list of things you can keyframe in Toon Squid. Position X, Position Y, Rotation, Scale X, Scale Y, Opacity, Time, Volume, Control Points, Fill Color, Stroke Color, Stroke Width, Start Trim, End Trim, Font Size, Line Spacing, Letter Spacing, Color, Text. To rig a character, just arrange the layers in the transform hierarchy. The top layer is the parent layer. Any layers inside it moves when the parent moves, and the layers within those layers move when those layers move, and so on, and so on. If you aren't happy with the workflow style you chose, you can go into settings and change how many frames one drawing automatically creates. Also, you could just zoom in and out of the timeline. One of the best features in Toon Squid that goes underappreciated is having multiple scenes in one project which can be useful for creating demo reels, cartoons with multiple sequences, and probably a whole lot more. Thank you all so much for watching my review. You're all awesome. Stay tuned for more things animation, and I will see you later.